Hello and welcome to a new video about electrochromatic electrohydraulic. This time we want to talk about the coil. We've talked not really a lot about the valves, yeah? how we manage that we do something, what does it mean, nominal size and so on. We talked about the pneumatic hydraulic part of the valve. Now let's talk about the coils, so the activation of our valve. So what we are talking about actually is this part which is highlighted here in orange color. And you can select usually the, the manufacturers have a array a, a variation of valves and a variation of compatible coils. Okay? So you can select the electrical properties of the coil. Yeah? Remember this coil here, we have used this coil. If we are using a different diameter of, of, of wire, yeah? for instance this, yeah? this is not, this is just the coil where you buy it. Yeah? This is also a wire which is suitable for making coils. What is a wire suitable for making coils? This wire, even if it looks like copper, what we touch here, this is not copper, it is, uh, Paint, actually, it's paint. So there's an isolation on this wire. Huh? So this is painted. There is some sort of spray, yeah, vanish, yeah, a lack. Yeah? So the, 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 the windings are isolated to each other, of course. Huh? Yeah. Use a different wire, have different characteristics. Make a little bit more Windings have different characteristics and so on. So this is how you can manage to have one valve and different characteristics, electrical characteristics of coils. Eh? So what are typical coils? Well, actually, you can have two types of coils. There are DC coils, direct current coils, eh? and there are, there are also AC coils. Eh? alternating current. Yeah? What are usual voltages? Usual voltage level on DC are, ah, well, there's a 12 volt coils, there are 24 volt coils, there are 42 volt coils, there are 48 volt coils. These are typical values. They are not limited to, this is not a taxative list, this is just some example. Uh, typical example. On AC side, we also have the small voltages here, 12 volt, 24 volt. Yeah. However, we also have their bigger voltages like 110 volts and 230 volts. Yeah. Then we have also, I don't know, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, something like this. Yeah. Different type. Yeah. And also we have to consider there the, the frequency. Okay. Usually, the, the voltage, the voltage might be plus minus ten percent. Uh, that's a usual limit of voltage. Also on DC, plus minus ten percent. Very, very usual tolerance, voltage tolerance. How much power do we train? Uh, these DC spools, they usually use somewhere around 4, 4 to 5 watts. Yeah? This is the typical power. Here, we're a little bit above. Yeah? So we have somewhere between 5 and 10 VA, volt ampere, yeah? because there we have also a, a power factor. Yeah? The power factor, cosinus phi, is around 0 0.7 here. Yeah? Because it's a coil, yeah? cannot be one. Yeah? So only 70% of the power consumed by AC are also therefore switching. The rest is just reactive power. These are typical values, all right? Uh, one thing is also, you know, the turn on time. Yeah? Turn on time, like this, say voltage, power consumption, 
and turn on time. If you read something else than this, don't buy it. All right. The coil must be safe if you turn them on 100% of the time. You know, there is power. This is heated up, yeah? and it must be simply allowed to turn it on all the time. Yeah? Everything else, in my opinion, is not acceptable. If you see it different, then you see it different. Turn on time. Yeah? There are also then there are also then stuffs to consider like connections. Yeah? Connections. Uh, what type of what type of plug or something like this or screwing? Yeah, PG whatever. Yeah, connection is is uh, can be different. Yeah, and there's also protection glass. A very usual a very usual protection is IP65. Yeah. Protected very good. Yeah. There's a video about these IP classes. This is usually some PG, whatever. Also here. Yeah. So, you know, you can adapt a little bit. Why are there so many different voltages? Well, usually it's the case that the higher the voltage, the smaller the smaller the diameter of the wire needs to be. Well, just select the coil you need, yeah, which is best for your application. Sometimes you even have some sort of power already available in your place where you want to put it, and then you know use this power, adapt the, the coil to your needs. Yeah? Easy, yeah. Just use the correct ordering number. That's mainly it. So now we really know a lot of the valves, the coils and so on. Yeah? Next time we are going to talk about the planning. Okay? So we, we will talk about how is the hydraulic plan looking like, how is the electrical plan looking like. Yeah? We will do really electric hydraulic plans. Okay? We will not do it electronically, we will do an electric control system controlling an hydraulic power part. How this is looking, how this is done, then topic of the next videos. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.